Seems like with two quarterly results below expectations, investors have kind of given up on TCS for now. Also, in general, a lot of people are confused because Nifty is nearly at all time high, but their stock portfolio are not moving. In the nugget section today, I'll walk you through the top 10 Nifty stocks and top 5 IT stocks in terms of graphs, how they are looking for the year, where they are heading. Quick snapshot that can help you take better quality decisions, which is the aim of this channel. Pharma has been on a tier, Divi's Lab, Torrent Pharma, both were toppers in Nifty Next 50 today. LIC was a worse performer followed by real estate giant DLF. If you note, daily we are seeing new leaders now in the green zone. Nifty 50 was a little better than Next 50 actually, more stocks in green than red. Trent was up today also, but today's news was mostly because Noel Tata headed Trent earlier. This does not make any sense at all because he's the head of Tata Group. HCL Tech, Tech Mahindra in the top tier. What corrected today? ICICI was down, TCS was down, so was MM, which has run up a lot. Today, banks were actually in a bad shape. Axis Bank is in the bottom tier, HDFC Bank was down, Indescent as well. This could also be related to the bank nifty being discontinued very soon. The sector graph actually looks in the favor of bulls, but the big sectors were on the bear side. Only oil and gas was in the green. That is because except IOC and MRPL, all oil stocks were up. The best sector which shot up towards the later part of the day, especially last one hour, investment banking, followed by pharma. Trend-led diversified retail is still the best sector in terms of returns for investors, followed by heavy machinery. It does not make any sense to be invested in the large sectors right now. As per the trend of last two weeks, look at the banks. ICIC down 1.5%, HDFC down 0.7%. Volumes were shallow for both sectors, banks as well as oil. The sector which was in focus for today, TCS led IT. TCS was down that too on good volumes 2.4x. Most of what was sold in TCS seems to have got absorbed in the other IT companies. I always say Persistent is the best company in this pack right now. It was up most 4.4%. Nifty's trading range today was not very high, 0.4% only, but it was really choppy all over the place. On a Friday, this makes the traders really, really nervous. In fact, this may be one reason why the volumes were so low. Bank Nifty's trading range was 1%. It went up earlier in the day, then came crashing down and then stabilized. This makes the life of option buyers be it put or call very hard on Friday. This is a new addition to the charts, the volumes for the day. These are the normal volumes of TCS. Look at the spike in the morning and look at the high volume concentration in the morning. Then obviously it went down a bit. Rush to exit. As a result, TCS came down by 11.40. Selling was done and then TCS consolidated in a very narrow range. See Infosys, high volumes here. This is where people moved, in my opinion, from TCS to Infosys. So while TCS was coming down, Infosys was going up. Bank Nifty, SBI was up very little. Kotak Mahindra was up today also. PNB was up a percent. But the large banks, HDFC was down. ICICI was down. 1.7% cut for ICICI. Axis Bank down 1%. Bank of Broza down 1.5%. Big cuts in most banks. This is again a rare graph. TCS was the only IT stock down. Rest everyone was up. HCL made a new high today. Persistent four and a half percent yesterday i missed the submarine deal in the defense pack in my opinion it does not matter at all for this financial year the deal has been announced but the money will be allocated in my opinion in the next budget in february also i saw the fine print there were no names of companies there that was a one-time fizz it's gone now i think from next week we'll see another round of selling in defense stocks Whenever China is happy, metals get happy because China will not dump metal into India. Hindustan Zinc continues to sulk but everyone else was up. This rally may continue and actually expedite on Monday, especially if China announces the large stimulus that is being discussed. Just like HUL, ITC also is not looking good. These are the largest consumption companies. Only three greens in the last three weeks. HUL broke the pattern today after a series of reds. Let's see if this continues next week. There are significant shorts and that should get covered. Trend continued to rock whole day 2.5%. The other consumption stocks, Page Industries were up as well. Page Industries made another high. This stock is having the time of its life. Look at the journey of Page Industries from May onwards. 34,000 to 45,000. This is appearing a bit overbought right now. Sector of the day, investment banks. Look at the gains. PSE. 
after such a run up you would expect it to cool down a bit 7% motilal oswal 5% nippon amc 9% 361 3% wealth 5% angel 1 3% mcx 4% this is a new addition now if you recall my bullishness in the investment banking pack that it will have fantastic results this news is probably catching up now with the retail investors heavy buying going on look at the volumes of nippon amc 250% and i believe this sector still has steam left into it the crude price sensitive sector was up in general reliance a little ongc went up oil went up mrpl attempted to go up but immediately came profit booking actually i don't think anyone is on profit on mrpl you might see a 5 to 10% rally any day in pfc and rec now Today I changed a lot of logic in these graphs, so if you notice anything wrong, let me know in the comment section, and I'll fix it back. Now we are talking about tighter rules for merchant bankers soon to ensure IP or fair play. This is one area where retail has really bled in the last six months. In the end, anyone who was not trading in IPOs did not make money. One thing I would in fact recommend to SEBI is in any IPO, the smaller employees, the people who have very minuscule shares, don't keep them locked for six months. They lose a lot of money because by six months the euphoria of IPO is gone. Let them exit, create a very low criteria, maybe 0.1% holding and less. Industrial growth contracts for first time in 22 months in August. The bad news is all over the place, written on every wall. Every second day, third day, we are seeing something. Now, while all this news is bad, the net direct correction is growing. So same sugarcane pieces are being juiced more and more and more. The side effect of this is people will have less and less money to spend. This will create a downward spiral in the economy. And overall, the growth will stall for many quarters. DMART has fallen a lot, but the expectations are good from the results of DMART. Gold was up nearly 76,000, silver 91,000, Bitcoin slightly up for the day. Yesterday, however, Bitcoin had cracked a lot. It has recovered. It was down nearly 5-6% yesterday night. Rupee finally broke 84. Brent slight short of 79. I talked about Alphabet yesterday. Yes, it is a 2 trillion company now. Nifty 50, 20 stocks down, 30 up. The best stock HCL Tech, Trent, HUL, Infosys, Bharti Etel. Next 50 was 50-50 today. Divi's lap was up most, followed by Gale, Torrent Pharma, Jindal Steel and Madarsan Sumi. While energy companies were not doing well at all, the oil pack was okay. The volumes continue to be low. The biggest cigarette company, ITC, was down a percent. The next biggest company, Godfrey Phillips, that was up 1.7 percent. Overall, the sector did not go anywhere. HUL was up 1 percent. So the consumption pack was looking okay. Aerospace and defense was red. Auto, the top two companies were in deep red. As a result, the sector was down. Same with banking, the top two players were down a lot. As a result, the sector was down. Kotak Mahindra is the only bank in green zone. Beverages were looking good. Warren beverages up 0.6%. The alcohol stocks were also doing pretty well. Deep correction in chemicals. That's because crude is now at 79. Deep correction in insurance led by LIC. Fantastic performance by investment banking. The sector was up 3.3%. These are very large companies. Another sector which has a lot of green going up continuously. Heavy machinery. Besides Hindustan Zinc and Bharat Forge, each and every stock in the metal pack was up. Sipla was down, but the pharma sector was rocking. Deep cuts in real estate continue, but the volumes have really dropped. I mentioned yesterday and I lightened a bit today because the stocks that I was holding for trading, they had gone up a lot today. I sold off Nippon Asset, JM Financial, PSC, Nuvama Wealth, Motia Loswal. Also, this helps me with a little cash in hand in case the markets are down after the China stimulus over the weekend. For this analysis, I'll jump to the software. We'll start with Nifty first. This is Nifty's one-year chart. It has gone up continuously. There have been some corrections. For example, this is the 4th of June correction. This is the recent downtrend in Nifty from the high, which was around 26,300. Right now, Nifty is looking a little oversold. This does not mean necessarily that they'll be buying and Nifty will go up. However, if you have seen your portfolio gone down a bit, note that this is not a meaningful correction at all right now. Yes, we can say 24,000 is a support, but Nifty has just tested it in this portion in very quick time. Next support is around 22,000, 2,000 points down. This entire zone is of consolidation. So yes, it should not get broken. If this breaks, then we are talking about 
doomsday 19000 perhaps let's go to reliance now reliance is looking oversold the 50 day moving average is converging towards 200 day moving average not a good sign at all reliance has not looked good in this entire period ever since the rise of july and then the fall the support of 2800 is right now broken we could see a support somewhere around 2650 perhaps but no meaningful support in this entire zone 2200 so unless reliance goes up from here we are not looking good at all as a reliance investor tcs the 50 day moving average line has suddenly curved this includes today's data also this is the fall see this curve when it turned now there is no guarantee that this will happen again but these guys nearly met here are we heading towards a meeting somewhere here now us also is in election mode i don't think major government contracts will go out to it companies so they may see the similar phenomena we have seen in india in the next two quarters it spending may come down so this also is not looking very pretty though we are again oversold here let's check hdfc bank bouncing back slightly from oversold zone slight uptick here but look at the choppiness and undecidedness in hdfc for the entire year no pattern also if fii is head out then hdfc is doomed for five years hdfc did not go anywhere remember the moving averages are looking okay but look here 200 day moving average was above 50 day moving average till about july one of the worst signs for a stock icici one of the prettiest charts up for entire year reasonable corrections on the way where people have booked profits the moving day average lines are not looking obscene in terms of the angle the pattern is fine it is looking a bit oversold so a bounce back is more likely in icici than hdfc bank i've maintained for the last two months that icici bank is lot stronger on the charts compared to hdfc bank let's check atl now atl as a chart is looking pretty it has not even gone to the oversold zone most of the year atl has been in the overbought zone but the p of atl is very high and i don't see atl getting into new business or new revenue there is very limited avenue right now to increase the prices also which means arpus may not go up a lot so atl will probably fall under its own weight of pe or being overly expensive not looking weak however on the charts sbi however is looking terrible the 50 day moving average is fast approaching 200 day moving average i think these lines will cross and then maybe if sbi does well they will have to reverse again something like this not looking good for at least one or two quarters from graph perspective unless they have very good or fantastic results due to which the stock suddenly spikes and the lines reverse let's check infosys so the lines have crisscrossed the same phenomenon which i was talking about earlier but the angles are really skewed here does not look like a sustainable chart unless infosys gives fantastic results which i am not expecting this is mainly because infosys has shot like a rocket in this particular zone in the last two three months it has been in the overbought zone for quite a while so if results are not that good then we could see reasonably good correction in infosys the support zone is somewhere close to 1750 but after that literally 1400 let's check hul the graphs crossed here so 50 day moving average has moved rapidly compared to 200 day moving average however this correction is not looking good at all we should see immediately a bounce back that will be good otherwise the stock will go down to its support levels of around 2400 there is a likelihood that it will pause at 2700 however as of now the stock is looking oversold see this oversold zone after that it went up itc the lines crisscrossed here went up like a rocket has to be justified with good sales numbers however the stock is in correction mode right now so unless we see a bounce back this correction will take it back to the support zone which is 420 i don't see anything major in between as a support hcl tech the lines crossed here quickly but this is where hcl was really going down the stock corrected oversold territory then it went up right now it is appearing a little overbought see here it was overbought for a sustained period then came down so chart wise we might see a correction if the results are not good so overall nifty stocks are looking bearish right now in general from chart perspective because result season does not seem likely to justify the peace that these stocks are enjoying for now 
and I don't see any trigger for PE enhancement in the next one or two quarters either. Let's check the top IT stocks as well. TCS, Infosys and HCL I've already discussed. Let's talk about Wipro. The 50 day moving average threatened to go below 200 but it didn't. It bounced back. The angle is a little converging right now, but we are already heading towards oversold zone. Every time Wipro has gone into oversold zone, it has given a bounce back. So maybe a little more correction if the results are not that good. After that, we should see a bounce back. Around 475 is a support. I'm not overly optimistic for 525, which is nearly there. Major support roughly around 440. And if that is broken, then we are going below 400. Let's check persistent. This is the dip when Persistent's last quarter results were not that good. But Persistent did not cross the green line, the 50 day moving average and has bounced back. It is not overbought right now though it has climbed up significantly. This graph is looking bullish to me, especially if the results are meeting expectations. Now one thing which might happen is that the good news may be already priced in by the time results come and the stock may correct for a few days that's mostly healthy profit booking but then it will resume the upward journey because it will emerge as the stronger of the pack in the IT companies. One thing to watch out for is if the FII numbers or maybe the DII numbers improve for persistent then it will get re-rated. Let's also check Zomato. 50 day moving average has not broken 200 day moving average or even move closer to it for the entire year. The charts are looking good. As long as Zomato can justify the prices with reasonable PE, this is okay. Not overbought either. So Zomato, one good news and the stock may go up beyond 300. The 52 week high is 298. The next high could be around 350 perhaps if the results are good. My analysis is reflecting my decision making to a large extent. If this was useful and if you want any other sectors or stocks to be analyzed same way, let me know. I can cover them in another nugget section next week. Have a fantastic weekend. I will see you on Monday.